everybody. Let's do a proper introduction here. I'm Justin. This is the Overstock Toy Shop. We are in Woo! Washington, Illinois. I don't know why, but every time I do one of those introductions, I feel a little weird. The weekend is finally here. It is Friday. The toy store has been slammed. There are some things we need to get done. We're going to jump into it right now. Let me kind of set up the video here. After every toy haul that we get, there's this huge rush to get it priced, get it out on the shelves, get it onto eBay. And it's like, go, 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 go. You're getting a lot of toys on the shelves things are just flying around that kind of leads to another set of issues lots of things get piled where they shouldn't shelves get stacked up but they're not very neat there's always kind of these hang around tubs tubs that have a bunch of things in them that need price but you're so burnt out on pricing that they don't get done until you know you have another load on the way so there's a laundry list of things that need to be done around the store let's look at a few of the areas I'm talking about. If you're new to the channel, this might seem a little weird. You might say, why are you stacking things like this? Toys over here, piling them there. And if you've been around for a while, you know, when the toy loads come in, it is kind of mass chaos, a controlled chaos. Some of the problem areas include this area right here, right by this side door and we put all our toy loads down this sidewalk. So it kind of makes sense. We'll bring things in right here and it gets clustered. There it is. I know there's not a lot of things back there to clean up, but I'm telling everybody, after you finally get the main part of the halls priced, there's this level of laziness. I don't want to say laziness because I'm not lazy per se, but <laughs> maybe a little bit of laziness. And also you got to remember, full-time job over here. The wow. next area is behind the cash register. I can't tell you how many things get stacked back here and they stay here. They get moved from here over to here, over to there. Most of the things that get stuck back there, toys that need to be tested, toys that we're not sure if all the items are there, damaged boxes. Okay, where was I at? We've been busy today. Fridays are a lot of fun at the toy store. Usually people are coming in, they worked all week, they want to buy some toys. But anyway, I think I was talking about the back register area. What it boils down to, you get a lot of clutter right here after a toy haul. I say you, but we get a lot of clutter over here after a toy haul. And there's even boxes, I shouldn't say boxes, tubs of things that just need to go. And there is problem area. Yeah, probably problem area number two. Problem wow. area number three, right along this side wall. This last toy haul, it wasn't as bad. Everything, almost everything fit into the tubs. So we were able to bring the tubs up one or two at a time, stack them kind of right here by the register. That means you're just doing one toad at a time. There isn't a big mess. You can keep it sealed so people aren't going through it. Along this window, there's always something getting stacked up here. Right now, we have a tub of cups, bottles, drinking apparati, a small box of Funko. I bought those Funko Pops from somebody that brought them in. We do that occasionally. Time out, I thought this was an overstock store. Yes, it is an overstock store, but we do buy things like Funko Pops. We do buy Lego in big buys. Like if you bring one Funko Pop in here, I'm probably not gonna buy it. But if you bring a hundred Funko Pops or maybe 50, yes, I will take a look at them. We like to buy big Funko collections. That helps you keep Funko in here. Why would you need to do that? Because some of the times the Funko Pops you get from Overstock aren't the best Funko Pops. These are just a few examples that are hanging out in the 299 bin. While we're here, let's take a look at the 299 bin just to give everyone an idea of what goes in here. This is where we put toys that didn't make the cut, okay? They didn't make the cut out on the streets, AKA the shelves, but they still have a home in the 299 bin. Things like Darby Steel, Disney Pixar Lightyear, Dino Fury Power Ranger, Rip and Go. Then there is the snowboarding, you can be anything Barbie. You have Be Sweet, Na 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 Surprise Doll, Glow and Something, 
spoky spinny things for your bike wheels. I think we get the message. Yes, 299 band, great thing to have in the store. We are getting sidetracked. So we took a look at the front. We took a look at the cash register. We checked out the back wall. Not the back wall, the side wall. That brings us to the corner of doom. And the corner of doom is generally, yeah, it kind of looks like this. It's called the corner of doom because there were a couple loads there where we didn't have tubs. And this was just piled with toys and it looked, it looked bad. We made it through it, but never again, right? That's why you see all these totes here. When we get a toy load, we don't have a loading dock. So the trucks with the lift gate, line them all up along here. We hire a couple people to help us out. We load them into these totes and we stack it all right here. But the afterthought, what's left over, it's kind of what you're seeing. This is just trash plastic that needs to go out recycled. This is kind of some overflow. We already have a bunch of these on the shelves. Same with this Godfather game. These need to go in the 99 bin. We don't have a 99 bin, but that's where I would put those. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is the back room. This is probably the number one area that needs the work. And I don't even wanna turn the light switch on. We are in the process, okay? Yikes. Okay, first thing I wanna get out of the way. We need some lights in here. I didn't realize we had that many lights out or maybe they're just warming up. But the stuffed animal situation, the Squishmallow situation, we have a solution for that. You can see the squished bags. You'll have to check out, not my last video, but the video before. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to stop at Menards to get the Jumbo Squish Bags. Jumbo Squish Bags. Okay, that's the official name that we're giving those, Jumbo Squish Bags. The last area that kind of gets overflow, and this table's not even supposed to be here, okay? This table's not supposed to be here. This box, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't. There they are, the problem areas in the store after a toy haul. It won't take a lot of work to get those straightened up. I should be able to knock that out tomorrow morning before we open, but I wanted to show everybody kind of what the toy haul hangover is all about. I don't know if it's because I haven't refilled any of these Funkos, but it really looks like we've sold quite a few Funkos since I pulled them off the wall. I need to come in here and fill in some Funko. This was all double stacked really high. This was double stacked. And we sold a lot of big Funko Pops today. Got a little sidetracked on the Funko here. But what do you guys think about the Lego wall? What's everybody thinking? It looks really good, right? I think it looks a little bit better than the Funko Pops. We've got some good sets out here. Those are kind of the problem areas we got going in the store right now. The reason why I wanted to show everybody that, these areas we can clean up pretty fast. They'll make a big improvement on how the store looks and it'll make me feel better, okay? They just need to get done. It's just a matter of, hey, get in here and do it. Put in the leg work, the elbow grease, whatever you wanna say. That's gonna be a video. I hope everybody is having a great start to their weekend. I'm gonna get out of here. It's time to lock the door close it down, call it a day. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.